Hi guys, welcome back to Garage Tech with me, Darren. Uh, in this uh, episode, I'm going to show you uh, my little bit of a project here of taking the inlet manifold off to get to uh, the inlet valves to clean all of the carbon buildup that you get. Now, uh, this is because uh, my AOS valve, so it's the air oil separator valve, had obviously been started leaking for some time. Um, and that meant then obviously the oil's going in through the inlet manifold and then it just sticks onto the back of the valves and then it starts to build up uh, a lot of carbon deposits. Um, now obviously there are companies out there that will do a kind of carbon clean. Um, I'll leave it down to you to, to make your own decisions on those. There's lots of positives and there's been lots of negatives and some people say it, it works and some people say it doesn't. But um, you know, for me, I was going through the process of taking off the inlet manifold, just try and clean out some of the oil that was in there I then went down the route of taking the um, the intake manifold runners off, um, and uh, yeah, obviously then you can see that there was there was a lot of oil and um, build up of dirt and carbon deposits on the back of the valve. So I've um, continued with the process. I've done one side now, so I'll show you what that looks like so far. So obviously this is um, bank one. That's cylinder two. And this side of it. cylinder one. At the end here was cylinder three. I think this was probably the worst one because just the way that uh, with the IPD plenum chamber on there, uh, the oil or the crankcase ventilation feeds in on the side of uh, bank one. It just had a tendency to uh, to go down into cylinder number three the most compared to the other three. So I spent a bit of time cleaning this out. I've just used um, some rag, obviously some cotton rag or some lint-free rag to um, clear it out. I've used some uh, engine degreasant as well. Obviously not trying to use too much. Bear in mind that I will be changing the oil anyway because obviously you don't want too much of it going down through into the chambers into the combustion chambers and then obviously that seep down into oil but um so you don't want to soak too much down through there but as i said i'm changing the oil anyway um so what i just want to show you on this then is me removing um the bank two inlet inlet manifold and then i'll obviously get down uh, this side to clean out the um cylinder head behind the back of the valves on this side okay I'm just going to put you up and then you can watch me run through it. Okay, so first thing I need to do is just remove these brackets here. Uh, it's just a E10 um, socket. So it's the um, external Torx. Okay, so just be careful with these uh, pipes because they are plastic, so you don't want to bend them about too much. It should just be about enough to fold it out all over here. Now you've got six E10 um, bolts that hold the intake manifold in place. So you need a long extension. Okay, so that's one inlet manifold out of the way. So, just turn my light on. So you can see now, it is quite dark and black in there. Quite a build up of uh, carbon deposits and etc. So I'm just gonna move the camera down so you can see a bit better. So, as you can see, there's like quite a lot of carbon buildup on there. It's quite hard to get inside and give you guys a real close look without getting the camera into good focus and getting some decent light in there. But, um, you know, there's quite a lot of carbon buildup in there. So, what I'm going to do now is um, I'll just fast forward it and just show you me cleaning it all out. As I said, I'm just going to use some bits of rag 
First of all, I'm gonna try and scrape out as much as I can uh, using like a bit of a pick, just to scrape out the big bits because I don't wanna wash it all down through the um, cylinder and washing it into um, the cylinders. So I'm gonna scrape out as much as I can and um, yeah, show you what it looks like at the end. Um, just something to mention, obviously, you know, you don't need to be too worried about taking the inlet manifolds off. They really are quite simple. Um, and to replace the seals is dead simple. I'll show you um, what the back of the inlet manifold looked like so you can see the seals. The seals are relatively cheap. They're two to three pounds per seal. Obviously you need six of them. So actually it's not mega money. It's just time consuming um, is the big thing. It's just a bit of a time consuming, time consuming job. Obviously I can see the um, AS, AOS valve right there. Um, so that's gonna be really simple to change at the moment, but I'm gonna do it uh, with everything in place. So if you're uh, looking at changing your AS, AOS valve yourself and not bother taking off the inlet manifold, you can see exactly what you need to do. But that's the corporate of this carbon buildup issue. Okay. Okay guys, so it's gonna be obviously pretty difficult for you to see. Um, me scraping this out because it's so dark inside here, but basically what I've got is um, a pick like this, just so I can help kind of scrape it out. So something that you've got similar to that. So I want to try and just scrape out the majority of the carbon buildup because what I don't want to do is put all of this sort of stuff down um, inside the cylinder obviously if the valves are open um, then this stuff's going to go down inside the uh, combustion chamber and you don't really want this stuff going inside there it's not going to cause major jam damage but you don't want this going down through into the cat because obviously this sort of stuff can start to then damage the cat so i'm going to try and scrape as much out as i can before i then start trying to clear it up with a rag Okay, so I've scraped out as, kind of as much as I can and I've been just using some bits of rag and uh, some tissue etc to try and wipe it out as much as I can in there. Um, so the next step, I'm just going to try and aid me along. I'm going to use uh, something like this, which is like a brake cleaner or um, engine uh, degreasant to help just try and remove some of the dirt. I'm not going mad in there and spraying loads in there because what I don't want to do is allow a lot of that to get into the actual cylinder. Now I will be changing the engine oil anyway, but uh, I want to just try and avoid allowing a lot of that to get inside the actual cylinder. And I don't really want too much of it trying to get up inside the valve stems, um, up into where the uh, valve stems seals are. So just using a little bit at a time. I'm not filling it up by any means. I'm just using a bit at a time to try and clear it out uh, and then drying it out and then going again. So next step now, I'm just going to use a, uh, an old toothbrush uh, to get inside there and give it a nice bit of a, a brush um, with an old toothbrush using a bit of the degreasing as I go. Okay. So next, I'm just taking some small bits of rag, as I said, I'm just gonna put it down inside the uh, cylinder, give it a good kind of like a move around. Also, I'm using a bit of a right angle pick here, so be careful, you don't wanna try and scratch anything inside, um, but I'm just using it to help kind of move move the rag around between the two kind of um, chambers, between the two valves. Also, this is to help try and soak up some of that um, degreasing I've got in there, as well as picking up any of the bits of um, carbon build up as well. You'll see just how dirty it comes out. See that? <laughs> okay. 
Now once I'm done with this piece of rag, I will spray a little bit more degreasing in and I'll go back with another piece of rag to really kind of clean it up. starting to look a lot better. Still got a little way to go though. But certainly an improvement from where it was. So I've been going over it a couple of times, uh, as I just said. Uh, last bit now, I'm just gonna try and finish it off by hand. So I'm just gonna use a bit of old rag, spray some degreasant on it. I'm just going to use this then by hand and to uh, clean inside. Starting off with one finger, then it might move up to two. No pun there. But just clearing out the, uh, any bits that are stuck on the sides. Try and get right to the back of the valve. Just about get on the valve stem itself. Clean that as much as you can with your finger. It's actually easier if you've got nice small little pieces of rag, to be fair, not a great big piece, because it uh, just makes it easier to get inside. Inside of my pick, and we can use a come up along screwdriver as well just to push it right down inside. Trying to be careful not to scratch anything. Of, uh, cleaner at the bottom there. Just use this to soak up these last bits. Okay, then guys. So I've spent a bit of time cleaning this up now. So I'm just going to show you my uh, finished results. So just bear with me. Just to get this. So as you can see now, kind of got rid of all of that um, black carbon buildup that was in there. It is quite difficult for me to get a decent angle and show you, but um, there was a lot of carbon buildup in there. Managed to get rid of uh, most of it. Of course, I'm not going to be able to get rid of all of it, but um, I've certainly had a really good go. I'll take some still photos because they might come out better. But um, all in all, I mean, obviously it's taken me a fair bit of time. Um, it's not the sort of thing you probably want to just do in one day. I've been coming and spending a few, uh, a few kind of hours every evening. But, um, you know, as you can see, it looks a lot better now. So, I'm happy with that, I'm quite pleased with it. You can actually see down inside there now, whereas before it was just like a dark black hole. Um, I'll just show you the other side. So next then is, um, I've just got to clean the surface area here, where obviously the seal sits. Obviously replace your seals about two to three pound each they're not particularly that expensive and then you can go ahead and put the inlet manifolds back on and then the plenum chamber and throttle body etc so all in all guys obviously as well if you're if you haven't replaced your uh, aos uh, valve 
or your crankcase ventilation valve. Um, it's probably a good idea to replace that now. Whilst you've got um, everything out of the way, it just makes it nice and easy to get to. Uh, but if I've said before, I'll make a separate video of how to replace that uh, with everything all in place. And this is gonna be the main cause as to why you're gonna get an excessive buildup of carbon deposits on the back of those valves. Okay then guys, well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, uh, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.